for our sake, I, I believe, I mean, a lot of people have been talking about it, Titans, you know, fans all around Twitter, everywhere, just the play calling on crit- critical situations. Uh, town, Todd Downing, our offensive corner, has been put on a lot of pressure just because of the boneheaded decisions on third and one or third mm-hmm. and two where you're, you know, you're doing a, a swing play to a tight end instead of giving Derrick Henry the ball third and one on a crucial, you know, conversion and stuff like that. So I understand why they're, they're frustrated and that could almost ultimately be the game as well. The, the play calling and the execution on the Tennessee Titans, you can, like I said, we had five sacks, eight QB hits, but I mean, if the offense can't get anything, no points on the board, I mean, defenses can only take you so much so i think the play calling has to be um has to be a hundred percent and they can't be any little hiccups either team could whether they mess up it's like almost like hey who takes advantage of uh, a missed opportunity or a turnover could really it could swing either way for either team I mean, obviously, the Bills having that momentum right now coming off being the Super Bowl champions, playing a Monday night at home against yeah. a team that's beaten them twice. They have a lot of leverage. I have a lot of opportunities to shut the Titans out. And again, Titans coming out a little bit flat, losing to a team that they should have won, that kept them in the game. That can't happen with the Bills. If you give that many opportunities to a really, really good team, you're going to get blown out. So hopefully, I mean, we'll see what happens, but... I mean, only time will tell, man. Yeah, absolutely. Is it Monday night yet? (laughs) No kidding. No kidding. And I think that that definitely plays in the favor of, I mean, I got to, I I think if I was in your situation, I would be kind of like, man, there's always an advantage that some team seems to have week in and week out, whether it's being at home or, uh, you know, just flat out quarterback differential. There's a million things. But when I look at this game, for the Titans to come off of a, a loss like that and then to carry that into the home opener in the biggest season the bills have had in at least two decades yeah. and they come off of a dominant win over the super bowl champs and then you yeah. add to the fact that bills fans are they they have it out for tennessee right now after the last two games it's a lot of stuff rolling in however mm-hmm. i always I hate playing good teams that come off of bad losses because they, especially this early, you know, you start 0 and 2, especially in the AFC. I mean, you are, it's yeah. an uphill battle, you yeah. know, and with Tennessee, they're up 13 nothing the other day. They blow it and they got to be coming into this one more fired up than perhaps they would have been had they had gotten a win that they should have. That's why I hate this type of stuff. You know, they come into this game with a little bit of added juice that I think they might not have had, had it have been a victory last week. So I think that that kind of evens the playing field a bit, but I think for you guys, it, it is unfortunate that there's all this stuff rolling into this game for the bills. Yeah, definitely, man. I mean, I, I mean, uh, all the, the, you know, and, and NFL analysts, you know, pick the, the Bills winning, but that it seems to always happen like that. Again, it's like part of the Titans DNA. Again, you wouldn't understand because you're not a Titans fan, but being a Titans fan, man, we it's it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise us, you know, losing to the the Bill, I mean to the Giants and then beating the Bills. I mean, yeah. it happened. I mean, last year we lost to the Jets, but beat the Bills. Like it's so it's it's the craziest thing. It's it's the weirdest thing. I wish we could stay a little bit more consistent. I yeah. wish we wouldn't have stuff like that. But I mean, it makes the game a little bit more exciting, I guess, right? Dude, it happens. <laughs> the Bills lost to Urban Meyer and the Jaguars last year. I don't know. That's true. That, that was another stuff. one that's yeah. just like a head scratcher. Like what? sometimes it makes no sense. I, it truly doesn't. That's why I, I I look at this game and you know the reason I feel like it might go one way is more so to do with what I see on the field than it is what happened last week. Cause I don't know, you know, you're up 13, nothing. And maybe they just, they, they got complacent. And also Saquon Barkley had the best game that he maybe has ever had. So a lot went into that and, you know, it, it's tough to judge everything on week one because week one, you really know next to nothing for all us bills fans. know the Rams could come out this whole season and be horrendous. We have no idea. We, we go into that game last all, you know, last thing we see from them is a super bowl victory. So you really don't know how to formulate your opinion based on just one week.